you know, I've always been interested in these issues, even as a youth. And when I went to, to college, I, I studied uh, in sociology. Uh, um, actually, it was an interdisciplinary program, but it was essentially sociology. Um, but interestingly enough, after that, it was a long time before I decided to go to graduate school. I was in the Army for two years. I worked at a variety of jobs. Um, I was uh, doing, uh, I was a neighborhood employment counselor in, in Boston, in an inner city section of Boston. Um, I uh, worked in a program that helped uh, kids coming out of drug treatment get find jobs. So I was doing kind of human service things. And I got involved in a teacher training program. I actually got a teacher training degree, and I did student teaching at South Boston High School, which was a very, uh, really an amazing experience, uh, challenging, difficult. Um, and it was, I was at MIT, and we were running this teacher training program, and I was co-teaching seminars on schooling and society, and it, it, it occurred to me that I have to get a more advanced degree. And I was 34 years old, and I went to I decided to go to, to graduate school. And, um, the, and you know, I always wondered, well, how am I going to really make a, a living and have a trade that's going to be stable? And, and um, I discovered I love statistics. And, you know, I always knew I loved math. And I could use my technical interest to study social problems in inequality, which I was so fascinated about. So that was it. As soon as I could put those two together, um, having tools and ways of um, uh, skills that I, could, that I could productively bring to bear on these interesting questions, then I, my identity as a, as a student and then as a, as a, as a researcher immediately uh, came from that. So um, I, um, I went off to, I, I got a degree from the Harvard Graduate School of Education, actually, in uh, policy analysis and evaluation. I went off to Michigan State University and um, uh, worked there for 15 years and then I came to Michigan for eight years and then to the University of Chicago I've been here eight years. So um, so it, it was a very roundabout uh, path. It was not uh, the traditional, you know, you get out, of, get out of college and then you go to graduate school.